Well, how's it going everyone? This is Farming Life. Are you tired of corporate life? Create your own farm, plant vegetables, fruits, harvest crops, employ workers, take care of animals, and buy farm equipment, manage employees, and just relax in this all new game that just released on Steam as of October 18th. This is developed by Pyramid Games and published by Gaming Factory SA, along with Ultimate, uh, what is it, Ultimate Games SA as well. Yeah, so we're going to be playing this, checking it out. If you want to pick this up, you can go ahead and go over on Steam, pick it up for yourself. I believe it's like like eight bucks, nine bucks, ten bucks. <laughs> there's a bunch of discounts that you can get if you own some of the other games that they have. Uh, so there's a lot of different discounts you can get. I think it's like nine ninety nine originally, but right now, as of this recording for the next seven weeks or sorry, seven days, it's going to be on sale. And like I said, if you own any other titles that they have, you you will also receive an additional discount. But anyways, how's it going, everyone? Thank you for stopping by. They call me K. It's a pleasure being honored with. It's a pleasure and honor being with you here today. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. We like to play games, and we, <laughs> I mean, we have a bunch of Let's Plays over here. If you want to see this turn into a series, or you want to see more of Farming Life, uh, you got to let me know down in the comment section below. We'll say, yeah, you know, I want to see more. This looks cool. Or, you know, if you're not the commenting type, just leave a like. Silent comment is always welcomed as well. All right, let's stop talking, you know, and just, like, jump into this and, and have some fun. I'll be honest with you. I have no idea what to expect. So I'm playing this completely, completely blind. Name your farm. All right, that's all I got for you. There you go. <laughs> all right, looks like you can have at least five different farms, which is kind of cool. I don't know, I, I feel like the, the screenshots, oh, there's actual cutscene. This story of us leaving, right? Corporate life and heading to the farms. So as I was saying, um, at surface level, it looks like a mobile game, but then you, d you you know, you dig a little bit deeper, and I think it's more than that for sure, for sure, for sure. You know how mobile games are, the, the types. But, um, wow, look at this. We're here. This, uh, oh, well, welcome to the farm. All right, fantastic. Wow, what a mess. We need to clean this up quickly before anything can be done here. Uh, do you want to go through the tutorial to learn how to man- Yes, I, I do. I do. Great. In that case, let's get straight to the point. Let's start with the learning how to navigate through the map. You- Okay, we, we know how to do that. We know how to do the was. We're, we're familiar. Rotating. Alright, we can rotate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zoom in and out. Very good. Very good. Great. We can move on. Some rubbish has piled up here. Let's clean it up. Okay. So, the wrecking ball. Hold the object until the bar is full. Then the object will be removed. Remove all rubbish, okay? Okay, just takes a couple seconds. Looks like we get like 10 bucks for it though. That's kind of cool. There we go. Very good. Very good. Great, time to prepare a field. We need a place. We need a place. We need a place to plant fruits and vegetables. Let's dig. All right, let's do that. Oh, sorry, sorry, wrong one. All right, to create a field, drag the mouse across the map while holding down the left mouse. Press the right mouse button to cancel. Very good. Build the carrot field. All right, let's do it. There we go, $90 to build it. Now that we have the field, someone has to take care of it. Click on the field, then click on the uh, suitable icon. All right, now select the icon with the field. Now select an employee to take care of the field. I guess this would be kind of us. Well, maybe not, I don't know. But Sam here, who is very good at agriculture, uh, animals, products, and stuff like that. Okay, now it's time to take care of the rest of the farm. Linda and Sam are planning to breed animals on the farm as well. There must also be a place for them. Let's build the croft. Uh, cut down unwanted trees. All right, very well. So we use the same demolition thing. All right. There we go. All right, now we get the building out. Drag the mouse across. Looks like the same kind of, you know area or type thing with the fields or the, the farming here each crop has to be adjacent to the road otherwise no one will be able to enter it let's build the road okay oh and just a little sneak it in right here i like it all right i dig it there you go each animal needs its own place rat wait what 
Each animal needs its own place. Rabbit too. Let's build a rabbit's coop. Okay. Oh, you can play. Oh, look at that. It's so cool. Now let's add animals to our farm. Click on the rabbit coop and add the an uh, rabbit. So this, I guess we're turning this only into a rabbit coop. So $45 for one rabbit. To make your life easier, you can build a feeder from which the animals will eat. Click on the building icon and build a feeder. All right. Carrot feeder. Oh, well, that makes sense because we have carrots. <laughs> there we go. Since we already have rabbits, someone must take care of them. Select an employee. Looks like Linda probably, right? Linda? Over the cur cursor over the croft and select the croft icon. Work here. You're doing great. Let's move on to the next one. Hmm. And what will we do with all these products you've collected? We need a lot of space to store them. Let's build a storage building. Cut down unnecessary trees. All right. Oh, wait, I got to hold it down. My bad. Carrots is running low. Probably because our rabbits are eating it all. All right. Let's go ahead and build a storage. I guess a silo is fine. Holy crap. There you go. Every new storage building increases your overall storage capacity. Very well. You have access to all your resources from any other, from any of your granaries, silos, or even headquarters, or even the headquarters. The building is here, but there is no way to get there. It is, an, it is necessary to build a road, all right? Fair enough. Let's take a look at the daily newspaper. What? All right, in the daily newspaper, you will find what's going on in town. You also read about the mayor's challenges. This is kind of cool. Accept the mayor's challenges to earn his respect, and as well as permits, allowing you to buy new land and expand your farm. All right. First page. Oh, I guess what's... <laughs> we'll do this. Let's try our hand at one of the mayor's competitions. Annual carrot contest. Yeah, let's try that. Open it up. All right. Collect 10 carrots in three days. All the best. All right, we can do that. Great. The only thing left to do is to harvest. You can check your progress in this panel. Oops. Quest from friends? Interesting. Mayor competition. Okay, collect 10 carrots. Time left. Very good. Wow, the crops have grown exceptionally fast. In the future, we will have to wait for a little for that a little longer. Oh, an apple fell from the tree. See that? Wow, look at all the carrots. Alright. Looks like we have one rabbit. I would like to have more rabbits, you know. Maybe like one more at least. So that, that rabbit's not alone. Looks like those are apples, yeah? Dude, the music is bumping, I tell you what. Give me a second. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. That's all right. There you go. Okay. So there's three times and six times. <laughs> speed, look at this. Look at the carries now. We're going to go on six speed here. How much money do we have? 2,100? Can we get another rabbit, you think? Or will the game... Are we still in tutorial phase? I think we might be still in tutorial phase here. Great, you have completed the task, and now comes the most enjoyable part. Claim your prize. Very, very well. Claim your reward. You've received permission to expand your land. Let's do that right away. Click on the town icon. Let's actually slow down time real quick. Uh, do this, all right. Okay. Municipal office, let's go to the municipal office. There we go. Click on the town hall. Select the area you want to purchase. Uh, wow, look at all the dis different areas here. Okay, 250 for the current price. The next price or the next piece of land will be 500. I like, I like how it shows us that. Bravo! Now you can own. Now you own the land, and your farm is expanding in front of your eyes. Complete the mayor's challenges to earn more permits. Let's use the new ground to expand our field. Cut down unnecessary trees. <laughs> oh, I see right here. This is where. Wait, wait, what? Yo, we bought all of this. How much can you get in this game? Oh my God. No freaking way. All of this could be yours? Oh my god. <laughs> Is that right? That one little slot got us this entire plot here? Holy crap. Um, If that's true, my lord. That was way unexpected. I was not ex expecting that. That's really cool if that's the, if that's the case here. Alright, expand the field. Alright, let's do that. Let's expand it. Yeah, let's expand it. There we go. Great. Remember, you can expand crops and gardens in the same way. You can make the shape you want. Let's build a garden. Begin with making some space for our garden. Cut down unnecessary trees. <laughs> right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Pull it out. Eh. 
That's so big, dude. The area that we have, it's so big. Dude, you can make a big, big farm. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the garden area going on. What is the garden area? Let's build a road. Yes. I like that you have to build roads to everything, too. That makes it more, um, more enjoyable, I feel like. You know, having to plan out where you're going to put your roads and everything. Place a beehive and a bush in the area. Let's start with beehive. All right. Do we, do we, click, we click on it? No, we build it. Beehive. Beehive. House for bees. You can collect honey from it. All right. There you go. Now plant a bush. Berries. Bushes with berries. There we go. Put a bench inside. Employees can rest on it. Oh, really? That's kind of cool. They can rest next to the... Okay, wait. How do I rotate the actual... All right. Maybe that will teach us later. It'd be difficult for only us two to do all the work. It's a good idea to hire some help. Let's hire a new employee. Yeah, I, I want to learn how to do this. Click on the employment agency. Very well. Wow, it's so far away. All right, so we have one person. This is Alex. He is average on everything. Production, animals, agriculture. Let's just hire. The employee will arrive at the farm bus stop shortly. All right, we now have a bit of free time. Let's go and check out the vehicle shop. Oh, my God. What? Oh, my God. Part shop. Trade center, place for the equip. Oh, dude. Look at this. Click on the building. Oh, look at this. Here you can buy new vehicles. Remember that you must have free space in your garage to do that. Okay, look, there's Alex. Your employee has arrived. Let's assign a task to the employee. Select the employee. Uh, look, my man, you're going to be doing uh, B stuff. Okay, click on the headquarters. This must be the headquarter. All right. Click on the garden icon and assign him to the... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We know we know how to do this. Work here. In the meantime, you can speed up time however... Hover over the... Oh, dude, this game is kind of cool. Especially for the price. Like I said, like me personally, I got this game. I did buy this game. I got this game for, I think, like $7? Because I owned some of the other games that they have? Yeah. Phew. A lot of information for the first day. That's all you should know about our farm for now. If you forget anything, you can always check it in the tutorial book. All right, very good. Very good. All right, look, a dog and a cat came out of the kennel. What? Where? Where? Oh, look at them. In all, in all the commotion, we forgot to check if anyone lives here. <laughs> Luckily, they can. They look clean and healthy. Probably a neighbor fed them. The, bog, the dog and cat will definitely help us on the farm, repelling rodents and foxes. It's worth taking care of them. Let's play with our dog. Okay, Linda. Um, click on dog and choose pet icon, okay? I can't see that far. Okay, that's a dog. Cheer him up. Great, remember, employee who has who has tasks will perform his next task. Perfect, play with the pets to make them happy. A dog and cat will help you on a farm. Let's sell the carrots we harvested and buy food for our animals. We're going to drive the pickup into town. <gasps> no. Select the employee to remove his current tasks. Okay, Linda, I guess. Abort task. Move employee to the vehicle. Okay, go to the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. You would think we need carrots for our rabbits, right? <laughs> the employee is now in the vehicle. Drive to the silo. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. Low carrots in the truck. Yes, 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 yes. Select products to move them to. <laughs> the more you sell, the more money you get. All right. Um. Can we just, like, take all? Mm -hmm. Click on the pickup while the employee is holding the products to move them to them. All right. Very good. Oh, they put a box in the truck, too. Now we need to deliver the carrots to the trade center. All right. So, Linda, get into the car, please. Mm -hmm. There we go. Let's go to the trade center. And, I guess, drive here. Park, to ri park the trade. Now we need to wait for our employee to arrive. The drive is quite long, so remember that you can speed up time. Okay. Open Trade Center will view and sell all carrots. All right. Does it show like a, uh, like is there always a set price or maybe the, some days they're, they're worth more than others? I don't know. Cannot be bought. Sell them all. Sell all. Buy 10 pieces of raw meat and 10 bottles of milk. Okay. How much money did we get for that? Was that a lot? I didn't even pay attention there. Ten. Ten. There are boxes in the car waiting to be unloaded. Let's move them to the right place. 
Let's drive the car to the silo and select the vehicle. All right, there we go. The employee is now in the vehicle to drive to the silo. Very well. And let's tell her to drive here. All right. Speed up time again. Should be coming. All right, there she is. Get out of the car to do this and then click on the icon to get out. All right, get out, exit the car, move all the items from the car to the silo, move products, take all and put them into the silo. This is kind of like a little bit micromanaging, but it's kind of cool. Our products are now in a safe place. Congratulations. Let's move on. Congratulations. You just finished the tutorial. Now you can start to produce food for the local community and take part in challenges that will help you become a local farming hero. Uh, yeah, here we are. <laughs> let's slow down time a bit for a sec. Good Lord. Um, I guess let's put Linda back to working here at the, uh, at the rabbit place for now. Can we buy more rabbits? Yeah, we can. So space required one. Let's buy another. How many can we have in there, you think? Maybe a few? Okay. And then we have Alex over here, I think, who is tending? Yeah, I think he's tending the um, work here. Collect all products. I think he's tending this area very well. Okay. Um, yeah, so I guess the next thing we should do is think, kind of start playing the game, I guess, right? So we have $1,000. We have carrots building right now, or building. We have carrots uh, coming through right now. So I'm going to go ahead and chop down a few trees, kind of make some space for us. I'll be honest with you. The way the game kind of laid out our placement here is not very good uh, road-wise if we wanted to get our road up in here, in here. Why are we a scarecrow? Do you see that? It's like a scarecrow there. Level four, level up. What happens when you level up? Okay. What happens if you level up? Is there like a level up thing that we don't know about? Animals, products, vegetables, employees. Oh lord, this is so cool. Um No, I think I think we're fine. See, like right here, this would have been a perfect spot for a road to come through. But Look it. I mean, like, can we actually demolish that, you think? Oh, we can. It's going to cost us $10, but it will at least let us have a little bit of a pathway coming into the field here. There we go. Let's get that going on. Move those out of the way. You know what? Let's just take care of all this. Someone needs your help? Uh-oh. Who needs my help? Who needs my help? Oh, it's a, it's a quest. Okay, hey, dear Sam, terrible news. A hurricane passed by my house. Why did our house not get hit by the hurricane? <laughs> um, I asked you because I know I can count on you. Please bring me beet beetroot. 30 of them. I'll be waiting next to the mill. Do I have any time? Like, I have all the time to, to do this? Then yeah. So if I have all the time to do this, then I, I, I will take my time. Let's get some crops, some beetroot. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so let's, let's take down another tree. So we're going to get beetroots coming in now. We're going to need to hire another employee too. And I want the road to come through here. Yeah. So we're going to go beetroot. We're going to go like that. And then in here, we are going to put um, beetroot. And then we need in another employee. All right. So let's go ahead and let's hire maybe. If we can. I don't know. Like, I don't know where the agency, the employment agency, how often people are here or not. Oh, it looks like pretty good. Okay. Contract 150. Now, I don't know if that's like a monthly rate or if that's just upfront cost. And that's, you know, you don't have to do it ever again. But we need someone that's just good at agriculture just for the beetroot. So I'm thinking a cheap person who is decent at agriculture. 175 here. Oscar. Let's hire Oscar. Okay. So Oscar has been hired. Let's go back to HQ. So we'll just wait for his, uh, you know, his comings. And then in the meantime, let's go ahead and start putting in some sand road. Now we could have rock road, but obviously you can see that for yourself. It's quite expensive. So we'll do that. Very good. Having the double road is... is Maybe not the best, but I'm doing it. Oscar has nothing to do. All right, so Oscar finally is here. Hello, Oscar, my man. Uh, let's not fire you. Let's make you go here. Work here. So Oscar's going to be assigned to that very well. All right. So now we have that going on. Uh, we could probably build another animal suit here or just keep going with some more. Um, all this grains, sunflowers trees bushes with berries bushes with raspberries you know what 
bushes with raspberries. There we go. Give this guy something to do, right? Give him more than just nothing. All right, that's good. Uh, the what was it? The building? Oh, dude, look at this. Used it for storing idle machinery. Luckily, we don't have anything for that quite yet. Here, the grass is dried at the grass dryer, the granary, a storehouse for crops and other products. Silo is a big silo that is great for strong, large amounts of products. Sophia needs your help. Do you want to help her? Uh, I guess. What's Sophia want? Oh, it's a freaking quest from a diner. No freaking way. Hi, this is Sophia from the bakery shop. There's nothing like sweet, delicate biscuits that melt in your mouth. To fulfill my best recipes, I need eight honey in three days. I believe you will be able to help us with that. Yeah. Reward, 155 experience plus 10 friendship. All right, so three days. Look at that. We already, we're, we're busting it. Let's go back. Probably should have added more. Um, let's expand this out a little bit more. Um, boom. Can we move this? Water, collect. Um, no, I want to destroy that. Okay, so what we're going to do, we need to get some more of the honey, decorations, outbuildings, carrot feeder, potato feeder, animals. Yeah, beehive. Let's get some more honey roll in here. Potential honey, right? Potential honey. $100 for this? Good lord, I didn't realize the honeybees were that much money. My lord. Okay. All right, we'll leave that there. Uh, in the meantime, we can cut down some trees. That gives us some money. It gives us two bucks. More than more than nothing, I guess. There we go. There we go. You know, I don't want to cut that because there's trees there, dude. That might be worth harvesting, actually. Bring us through. Oh, look at Linda. Linda's actually... Um, she was actually washing the animals. How cute is that? All right, there we go. Yeah, we can collect it from the apples and stuff. All right, that's good. That's good to know. All right, so how's our crops going? Looks like they're going fine. Look, at there's our kitty cat, our catty cat, cat. Uh, since Linda's not doing anything, let's go ahead and have her, like, um, pet the cat. Yeah? I'm kind of going three speed here. You can kind of see what the cat stats are, the hunger, the tidiness, the health, and all that. You should probably feed the cat. I can't believe we have to keep our eye out on the freaking cat, dude. I tell you what. What is he what is he on? What are you doing? What's wrong? What's wrong, buddy? Uh Linda, let's actually take care of the dog as well, too. Let's give the dog some food as well. How's the cat now in the hunger? Cat's good. Okay, very good. Very good. I think the raw meat in the the carrots that we got or whatever we got from the marketplace, maybe that's for the animals. What is his deal? What is Sam's deal? Is he tired? Oh, I think he's tired. Yeah, I think he's tired. Okay. I see, I see, I see. Um, so we're doing okay. Uh, there's a lot right now that's been thrown at us. I'm going to kind of take down some more trees so that we can kind of expand our crops here in the future here. Once we get our crops coming... Uh, we can go ahead and sell some more at the at the trade center obviously we need beetroots we need a lot of beetroots for our for our neighbor and then um obviously we need some honey for the uh the the place back in town which is really cool so we have some apples we have some raspberries we have some berries we have corn we have wheat we have potatoes oh the milk that the cow milk i think that was for the cat very good okay all right, so now the carrots are now being, looks like the, the harvesting right now. I'm afraid, yeah, I'm afraid he's upset because he's just tired. She has nothing to do. So what we can do is like have her work here possibly. Does that put both of them on it? It does. You can actually have two people on it. That's good. And then here, he can like go home. Do you want to find out how to take, how to care for your employees? Yes, I do. All right. So fatigue. Employees have rest st uh, statistics, which will eventually drop over time. Can I like pause the game real quick? Um, which will 
uh, which will eventually drop over time. Employees rest at night or go to rest in the headquarters when their energy level drops below a certain level. After the rest is over, they will return to continue their tasks. You can also send them to rest by manually selecting on them. Okay. Employees can also rest on a bench, so be sure to provide benches on your farm. Very good. Very good. Okay. Okay. Well, that's, that's good to know. So I, I guess like here, was it considered a, a decorative item? A bench? Yeah, a bench. We could put that right there. Let's bench there. So in case anybody needs to jump on that, they can. All right, let's go ahead and press play here. Go to three speed. Looks like Linda's going to be finishing up the harvesting here. Maybe. Uh, harvest this lady. Come on. How are you doing, Oscar? Oscar seems like he's doing fine. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's doing fine. Very good. How are you doing over here, Alex? Um... Looks like you have nothing really else to do. We could tell you to collect the fruit from here, the apple trees. Once you're done doing that, you can collect these ones over here and then possibly the ones over here. At least to get us as much, right? As much as we can uh, product wise so that we can send them off in, in our truck and go and go elsewhere. What does this say? Manage task. This is very cool. I love how like big you can make this farm though. That's crazy. Night is coming. Take care of your family fields and animals okay maybe we can have him work here into the animals real quick um yeah it looks like the cat and the health Ooh, dude this is already kind of getting tough with the cats and dogs what happens if you have like a giant <laughs> what happens if you have a giant farm like what are you going to be doing right looks like the rabbits are all taken care of let's go ahead and clean up the cat here the rabbits are all taken care of right yeah, every rabbit has uh, their own um, their own health there. Night is coming. Let's see our stats and compare them with local farms. Oh my god, that's us, Sam. Welcome to the day summary. Here you will find information and statistics about the game day you've just completed. The list includes local farmers who want to reach the very top, just like you, for taking place on the podium. You'll be rewarded with experience and money. Ah, look at that. We gained the most today, though. All right, into the next day. All right, so they go day by day in this game. It's not like full cycle where it's like, you know, day through night, day through night. Sometimes you have to take a step back to take a, two steps forward. Very well. Someone needs your help? Uh-oh. Dear Sam, will you, I need 30 pumpkins. Oh, dude. I don't know. Not. I mean, yeah, we could, if we have no time, we can do that. Honey cookies? Oh, that's the honey, right? Yeah, that's the honey. So we just need eight honey. So as long as we have eight honey, we might be able to deliver that to her right now. Let's go back to the HQ. Does it show how much honey we have? How much honey? We have eight honey. Perfect. Um, Yeah, great. So that's good. We need to actually take care of our dog, though, real quick. Where's our dog? Yeah, our dog needs to be taken care of immediately. So let's go ahead and clean our dog off. Linda, you can go in ahead and start doing. Yeah, you can start working into the rabbit area. We might take Oscar or sorry, Alex. What is he doing? Yeah, we might take Alex with us. Wait, did I put Alex here? Apparently I put Alex there. Alex, take care of the dog. Take care of the dog. There you go. Give him that. Give him food, Alex, Alex, Alex. Alex, no, no, no. Okay, he's, I, I see. Who needs my help? Cat needs food. That's bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, Linda, let's give the cat food. I, I can already see, like, the cat and the dog thing. <laughs> cat, no, I need you. No, Linda. Linda. Feed the, feed the cat for me, please. Dog needs food. Oh, okay. The cat and the dog thing is really gonna drive me nuts, I think, already. I can't focus on the farm when I'm focusing in on these two animals. Okay. Linda? Linda, go over there. Linda! Linda! Oh my god, Linda. Quit that. Stop that. Stop that. Go feed the dog. Or is someone... Oh. What are you, what are you, what are you waving at, dude? Just feed the dog. 
Good job. You just got fed twice. God damn it. All right, so Linda is actually going to come. Oh, look at the rabbits. They're getting bigger now. So Linda's going to take the truck today. Well, she's actually going to move some products. We're going to take the uh, honey in. And okay, we're going to take all that. We're going to take all the honey. And we're going to make sure that we deliver it to our um, our people, right? Our Or the diner. And then let's go and put that in there. And then let's go ahead and jump into the car. Select everything and return. Park to trade. Wait, can we just like do that automatically? Drive as a passenger, drive, park to trade. Can we do that? Oh yeah, she'll go right there. Okay, good. Very good. All right. The beat roots are still coming. Carrots are still coming. How are the how are the how are the freaking and uh, rabbits? We might need more people here. We might need another employee. What are you what are you yelling at? Here, you come over here. You work this. Actually, you don't work that. You work this. Just, just, you know, abort everything. <laughs> okay, I will say. <laughs> I will say. The assigning has a little, the assigning people is, is kind of, it is kind of weird. It is, is a little weird to pick up on. Uh, let's go ahead and... No, 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 no. We don't want you to go here, actually. Actually, we want you to go to... We want you to go to the diner. Where's the diner at again? There's a quest. We want you to drive to the diner. I guess we can click on it, yeah? Honey. No. Oh, here we go, right here deliver the product here there we go quest complete nice friendship is magic all right so we got xp for that which by the way still not understanding what the level up is doing for us maybe it unlocks new stuff for us all right so let's go ahead and drive back home yeah let's 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 go home drive to the garage we'll see what happens when that when we give that assignment there all right so that has been completed Quest, quest finish, very good. Any other quests that you need to look out here for? Side quests. Mayor competitions, none. Quest for friends, random quests. Maybe that's what it is, random quests? What's random quest? Until the end of the day, deliver 30 pumpkins to the dairy. Oh, I can't do that. Not until the end of the day. I can't do that. Oh, look at We leveled up from a scarecrow to a person? Wait, what? Who is this? This is Linda. Oh, never mind. We did not level up anything. Linda will have you work here. Back there. This man, just continue what you're doing, dude. Dog needs healing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Back to the dog and cat game. We're going to need, like, an employee just to take care of animal. Just to take care of the cats and dogs. Okay, go back. Yeah, go back to that. There you go. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right, um, we're doing okay, I think, for what it's all worth. We could do, like, more vegetables, yeah? We could do a pumpkin. 168, and then we'll, we'll need to hire another person. How's our money? Does it actually break it down, our money? No. I think our contract is, like, when you hire somebody, I think it's straight just cat needs healing. Are you kidding me? The cat and dog thing, I'm telling you. Ugh. It'd be cool if you just had the cat and dogs and like you didn't have to like take care of them, right? Sorry, Linda, go go back to working here. Linda, work there. Are you kidding me? Linda, work here? Thank you. All right. Um. Yeah. So we're gonna need to get a new a new employee here very very soon. Let's go here and then let's go to the employee employment agency. Go to the employment agency. See who is another cheap, good agriculture or decent agriculture, I guess. $250, $210 for this Benjamin guy. Not too bad, actually. You know what? I'm going to hire you. There we go. All right. So Benjamin should be coming soon. We should be getting a full silo here 
yeah, very full silo so that we can go ahead and sell a bunch of things. Benjamin has nothing to do. Uh, Benjamin, you have everything to do. Come work this out now. Benjamin will start doing that. Uh, what are you complaining about, my good man? Why are you having an exclamation over your head? Night is coming. Take care of your fields and animals. All right. Why are you complaining? Your rest, maybe. I, I think that's what it is. His rest. Dog needs food. Oh, my God. Uh, stop it. Stop it. Give the dog food. Good God. Like, I get they need to eat, like, once or twice a day, but my lord. What, what are you, what, what, what what's wrong? Go. Get inside. Night is coming. All right. Did we go up? We did go up. Good. We went up. Nice. A harvester and a granary with a driveway are a great combination, thanks to which the products will be transported automatically to the granary. This significantly shortens harvest time. Okay, so a harvester and a granary. So they're talking like an actual harvester, like a tractor harvester. And then the granary. I mean, yeah, the, the, the big fields, right? I guess that's the way to go. Guess who climbs a ladder for the first place? Yes, it's you. Well done. We did? I thought Monica did. All right. Someone needs your help. Who's this? Let's see. Someone needs our help. Circus dog. No? <laughs> Dear Sam, I need 30 potatoes. I'll be waiting next to the mill. Okay. Very good. Now our guy, wait a sec. Our guy with the beat, what happened to him? Yeah, what happened to the guy with the beats? Because we shouldn't have enough beats now. Hey, let's slow down time here. Cat needs food. Are you kidding me, dude? <sighs> Go feed the cat. Um, I wish there was a button to click to see where all of our quests are. Couldn't wait any longer. I don't know who that was. Probably the guy with the beats, maybe? I don't know. You haven't used this product in a while. Corn, wheat, potatoes. I get it. Honey's running low. Couldn't wait any longer again. All right, well, fair enough. Um, so let's go ahead and have Linda. Oh my God, cat needs cleaning. Jesus Christ. Clean the cat. I was going to have Linda drive into town and sell us a bunch of products because we need money. We do need money. Okay, so she's taking care of the rabbits right now. Uh, let's have her get into the car. Yeah, we want to get the pickup out. And, um... Yeah, this is what we want to do. We want to... Whoops. Nope. We want to have someone move products into this. Come on. Can we put the car, like, truck right here? Drive. Linda. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on. Come on. Very good. Very good. And then drive it like right there and then we're next to the silo right move the products okay so like let's not move everything because we need some of the things here but let's move like all this stuff uh the corn the raspberry uh the apples hell we could even do the the wheat the potatoes are actually for people i think that we need more honey uh berries carrots are absolutely out of control here so we already have our limit that sucks what happened why'd she get out what, what? Stop it! Like, don't clean the cat. Stop it. We want the products. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> you know what? Let's just send, like, all these carrots over. Let that be that. Probably won't be a lot of money. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna tell her to sell everything in return. There we go. She'll do that on her own. Fantastic. The dog, what the, what the hell does the dog need now? <laughs> the dog needs to be cleaned, apparently. All right. Well, let's get this guy over here and clean the dog. Uh -huh. Look at the beats, though. The beats are coming out really good. Pumpkins are going to take a while. Pumpkins are going to take a while. But look at this. I mean, it's coming together. I would like to think it's coming together. You have a oh, you have a newborn animal. Do you want to find out more? Yeah. Okay, so buying animals is not the only way to obtain them. You can increase the number of animals you have by breeding them. For animals to reproduce, at least two animal adult units of the same species must be in the same craft. 
obviously. Remember that young units provide fewer resources and cannot reproduce. Give them time to grow up and they will increase the likelihood of appearing. Very good. We shouldn't have bought so many rabbits then, but... Why did Linda park the car right here? Drive it to the garage, Linda. Okay, Linda. Actually, Linda. Get back into the truck. Get you back in there. Driver. Drive this out. Okay, and then we're going to move some products. Let's slow down time a little bit here. And you, again, are going to be delivering more food. Uh, more money. We need more money. So let's go ahead and deliver all these carrots. 50 carrots. And you will go and sell that and come back again. Move products. Okay. Yeah, so when we have, like, big fields, you're going to need a harvester and whatnot, right? It's obvious. It's very, very obvious. But, um, yeah, you know, it is what it is for right now. I think we're doing okay. Uh, Linda, put it in there and sell everything. Come on, you know better. There we go. Look at the little cat house. How cool is that? Refill? Oh. No, I just told Linda to do that. Gosh darn it. I didn't want to tell Linda to do it. Refill this, I guess? Silver, good trader? Nice. Where's the dog bowl? Oh, the dog house. Okay, so the cat house and the dog house, they can actually take care of themselves if we take care of those houses. I see. Hello, Linda. Welcome back. Again, you're going to be getting more stuff. Uh, you're going to be getting apples. We're going to be sending off apples now. And then uh, apples and raspberries and corn to go with it. All this stuff needs to go. And 10 berries. Very good. Move the products. Hopefully I didn't tell that guy to do it. I told Linda to do it, yeah? Raw meat is running low. Really? I thought we had a lot. Do we not have a lot anymore? Dog needs food? Look, we're trying to give the dog food. Yes, give him the food, my man. Yeah, go ahead and give him the food. Task is waiting because there is no cow milk? I thought we had a lot of cow milk. Okay, move the... Oh, Linda. Oh, my God. Linda! <laughs> what are you doing? I told you to grab the stuff. Get the stuff and get going. The one thing about this game is, like, trying to figure out who you are controlling at the time. You really don't know who you're controlling. Okay, move products. <laughs> I mean, this right here, if you're telling me this is what I need to look at as far as like, oh, see, look, he's going to move the products. Oh, my God. Whatever, dude. If this is who I had to look at, it's not. No, that's not a good indication of who I have selected. Especially when the scarecrow pops up out of nowhere. Apple is running low. Like, I don't think we need apples. So I think it's OK that the apples are running low. All right, my man, you're going in, you're going in to town. And you're selling everything. Yeah. Raspberries are running low. I don't think that's another... Again, I don't think that's a bad thing. Corn is running low. I don't think it's a bad thing either. Now that we're making money. Right? At least. I don't know. Let's wait for him to get back. Berries are running low. Intentionally, they're running low. We were selling them, man. We're selling them. What the heck's going on here? Immunity? Weeds control? Pest control? Pumpkins? Well, because the cats and dogs aren't... aren't like doing their thing is that what oh my god the guy's back okay slow down um we need a park to trade i guess yeah we need to we need to buy raw food and raw or sorry raw meat and um and uh cow milk which i know we could produce that on our own right produce that on our own if we had the right stuff let me just slow down time here a sec let's go animal products let's go we just need to get kind of get that going in i guess we'll buy 10 of those buy 10 of those and then i would like to get uh raw meat please 10 of those oh 500 jesus christ and then i guess we'll send that back home um move products park trade Deliver to the garage, I guess, or drive to the garage. We'll meet him back here. What are you going? What's going on here? Who is this? Linda? Linda. Move. 
Linda, move. Okay. Now, wait a sec. Did this pick up? Yeah, it didn't get dr dropped off. All right, hang on. So, my man, you can't just, like, go there. You need to, like, unload. So, move the products. Move products. God. Get in the car. Get in the freaking car. Drive right here. Move products. Take all and put them in there. Night is coming. Yes. Move the products. No! Put... Unload this. Un move the products. Move it. Oh, you son of a gun. Move products. Move the products. Right there. You are kidding me. Are you gonna do it? No, you're not. Of course you're not. Whatever you're doing, like... Stop it. Come over here. Move these. Take them all. Take them. Where, where are you going? Stop going over there. No, I want you over here, and I want you to not sell everything. I just want you to unload it, dude. Unload this. Oh, my God. He is going to drive me nuts. <laughs> all right. Whatever, dude. What just happened? Take the stuff out of the truck and put it into the house or the silo. I don't care. Expert once told me there are ups and downs, but the sun always rises after a storm. Can't stop. Cat stopped mice from stealing few products. Minus 13 carrots were stolen. Oh my god. <sighs> okay, somebody come over here and unload this son of a gun. Linda, I'm gonna get you because you seem trustworthy now. Move the products. Take. Okay, moving products. She's moving products now. Very good. Fantastic. Now put them in there. Oh my god, she did it correctly. She is the star. Now, abort this task, though. I need you to refill mm -hmm. this. Refill the doghouse. Refill the cat house. There we go. What? Wait, what, what? There's waiting because there's no cow milk? I just brought cow milk. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I just got cow milk. What are you talking about there's no cow milk? What? I... I bought the cow milk. <laughs> oh god. Alright, well I think that's gonna do it in today's episode. Hopefully... I'll be waiting next to the brewery. You know, 30 carrots. I mean, I could do that, but... That's gonna do it for this episode. If you, Like I said, if you want to see more, let me know down in the comment section below. There's a few things that are very... Uh, that need to be hashed out about this game. The dogs and cats just really take away from the entire game. Kind of. And the fact that they are a reliable source that you need to have in order for your crops to survive is kind of ridiculous. Like... You need to feed them and the meat costs a lot of money like uh, you're worrying it's like it's not the farming anymore it's like cat and dog take care of cat and dog we work the farm around them not them around us so yeah you know it is it, there's, there's a little bit of tweaking that needs to go on with this game but i appreciate you guys coming by and checking out this game with me if you want to see more just let me know and um cat needs healing and i will see you in the next video wherever that may be do as always take care for all of you, not just a song to listen to, something to give you hope to hang on to. I